Presidential candidate John Delaney, who is currently polling at 0%, went on what New York Times dubs the most important political show in the country, The View. And during his conversation, he decided to bring up Medicare for all and mislead the public about it. Let's take a look. I'm a truth teller, right? I'm for universal health care. And I'm sure your audience agrees. Everyone should have health care as a basic human right in this yes, country. Right, yes. Full stop. Right, but for free. Not for free. With that. Well, I do, for free. Yeah. Everyone gets health care. A basic yes. government health care plan is a basic human right. But what I'm not for is making private insurance illegal. Mm -hmm. 150 million Americans have private insurance. Mm -hmm. 100 million of them like it. Why do we have to be the party that stands for taking something away? For the American people, that's what Medicare for All does. It forces 150 million Americans. Yeah, no Americans. one likes that. I don't like it. And that you know, was my point. You know something, yeah. sir? I have Medicare because I'm old. It's great Medicare. And I, but I, <laughs> it's great. But I also have to supplement it with my my insurance for my job. Right. It's not. It doesn't pay for everything. So so you really people need both. So. <laughs> Unfortunately, Joy Behar is not a bad person. You know, she's usually on the money when it comes to these issues, but she's even been misled about what Medicare for all actually entails because here's the reality. It only makes private insurance unlawful or illegal if that private insurance offers coverage that Medicare for all would offer coverage for. So, I'm going to read you the actual language from the bill. This is I'm not even paraphrasing it, this is literally what the bill says. It shall be unlawful for a private health insurer to sell health insurance coverage that duplicates the benefits provided under this act or an employer to provide benefits for an employee, former employee or the dependents of an employee that duplicates the benefits provided under this act. Now, what does the act provide? What type of coverage does it provide? Well, I'm gonna actually read that for you. And again, this is the language from the actual bill. Individuals enrolled for benefits under this act are entitled to have payment made by the secretary to an eligible provider for the following items and services if medically necessary or appropriate for the maintenance of health or for the diagnosis, treatment or rehabilitation of a health condition. Hospital services, including inpatient and outpatient hospital care, 24 hours a day emergency services and inpatient uh, drugs. Can I just say on that real mm -hmm. quick, you know what? People aren't taking ambulances anymore because they're worried that they're going to get charged five thousand dollars and and get bankrupted and not be able to pay, etc. If you had Medicare for all, which is would be an expanded version of the current Medicare, you can go to an emergency room, you can take an ambulance and not risk your life and worry about bankrupting your family. Imagine the relief that you would have from that. The reason even Joy Behar, a wonderful progressive, didn't know all the facts about it is because no one on TV ever says them. Mm -hmm. Ding, ding. Okay, exactly. keep going, Anna. I'm gonna give you the comprehensive list because it's important. Ambulatory patient services, primary and preventative services, including chronic disease management, prescription drugs, medical devices, biological products, including outpatient prescription drugs, medical devices, and biological products. Mental health and substance abuse treatment services, including inpatient care, laboratory and diagnostic services, comprehensive reproductive, maternity and newborn care. And uh, pediatrics, including early and periodic screen and diagnostic and uh, treatment services, oral health, audiology and vision services, short term rehabilitative and habilitative services and devices. It, it offers more coverage than what Medicare offers today. So they call it Medicare for all because Medicare is a popular program. And you know, titling it that way has been successful, but unfortunately some people have use that as a way to mislead others into thinking, sure. this is it, this is all it's gonna cover. What it's covering today is all it's gonna cover, but it's gonna cover more. Well, I wanna give Delaney some credit because finally someone is standing up for the American insurance companies. For too long, <laughs> people just dealt directly with a doctor and didn't have a middleman in between them who could get sick off their disease without doing anything to help heal them. And insurance companies filled that void. There's a reason none of our capitalist allies have tried to give up their universal health care to have a system like ours with this FDR era relic of forcing a private employer to provide health insurance as part of a compensation package. Mm -hmm. I just like to hear Democrats say, our American people deserve the same access to care as every one of our capitalist allies. Why do the people of Israel 
deserve better access. Germany, Japan, all of our allies already do it, we're the freaks. Now, there is this thing called the presidential uh, loser industrial complex where a lot of people run just to get higher public speaking fees, shocking concept I know. I will say that Delaney has done something really profound here to distinguish himself from the field because mm -hmm. we're gonna have single payer in this Democratic Party platform in some form. Yeah, so, definitely. So there's two uh, main arguments they make against Medicare for all uh, and uh, they, neither one of them makes sense. The, the main one is the one you just saw there, well, you're gonna lose your private insurance. And I had Delaney on the show and I said, yeah, you keep saying you're gonna, they're gonna lose their private insurance, but it makes it sound like they're gonna lose insurance completely. But in reality, they would have better insurance, expanded coverage, right? And he said, yes, but I still don't agree. You could watch the whole interview for yourself, tyt.com, go to the conversation, that's where the interviews are. And so uh, then I asked Michael Bennett, who's also running for president, he's a senator from Colorado. He went further. Michael Bennett said, "Oh, I mean, sure, Medicare for all would be quote awesome, mm -hmm. and even though he's opposed to it." Yeah, and he said it would be the Cadillac package. So when you hear that they're, you're going to lose your private insurance and no one finishes that sentence and you will get better insurance, they do that to purposely mislead you. Yes. Now let's note that almost no one in the media corrects them. Mm. So that is a damning indictment of the media. That's why you need shows like ours to actually get you the information while everybody else is purposely misleading you. Yes, you should become a member to support independent media. They have billions of dollars from all those different places. All we have is you guys, tyt.com slash trial to sign up. Okay, now back to the, the second trick. So if you have insurance that's better, as Anna just read you all those things, it's not just better than Medicare. Does anybody have insurance that's that good? I don't have insurance that good. That includes dental, vision, and all of the other things, prescription drugs, mm -hmm. and all that totally peace of mind, no co-pays, no premiums, no deductibles. Mm -hmm. And you think, well, I can't. I mean, I can't, that's too good to be true, right? And of course, that leads to their second myth, which is how are you gonna pay for that, right? But every developed country, to John's point, has a single payer system that provides those things, and there's a range of what they provide. But they do all that and they pay about half of what we do. Yeah. And if you think, yeah. wait, how could that be? It's also because of what John alluded to. We have a giant industry in this country that's just a middleman that gives you a lot of bureaucratic paperwork that makes you wait in lines, uh, that has the CEOs making tens of millions of dollars, the shareholders of those companies making billions of dollars. And what are they making money by? by largely denying you coverage. Mm -hmm. yes. So if you remove that, you're gonna have great efficiencies in the system and it's not theoretical. Every country that has done it, which is every other developed country, every single one of them has saved tremendous amount of money and gotten much better coverage. And we have to point out the GOP healthcare plan. Uh, I dressed up as it for Halloween last year, so I never made it out of the house. <laughs> but essentially, if you wanna see the GOP plan, it's online, it's called GoFundMe.com. That's exactly right. Yeah, that's exactly right. And so, one last thing about that, guys. Um, so, I had John Delaney on the show. We actually uh, got along really well, and he's a good guy, and it's never personal, okay? But in terms of politics, who needs Republicans when you have Democrats like this? Because you don't need the Republicans to smear Medicare for all. You have the whole spectrum. You have John Delaney, Michael Bennett, John Hickenlooper. Hickenlooper, not necessarily a good guy. He said, if you're in favor of programs like Medicare for all, you're bringing Stalin back. <laughs> That's not a Republican. That's a Democrat. So you have. Why is he making Stalin look good? <laughs> it, it, I know, right? Name I, one of our capitalist allies that don't have a system like this. It's all we have to say back to them. And then you have to find out who's funding their campaigns. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and exactly. of course it's the health insurance companies. And so you have two thirds of the Democratic Party, almost the entirety of the media working with Republicans all against progressives, every one of those guys opposed to progressives. And what are progressives trying to do? Get you health care at an affordable rate that gets you more coverage. Understand how this entire system is rigged <laughs> against you by the donors.